Good morning, May 9th, Seaside Shores. Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which He will accomplish for you today. The Lord will fight for you. Exodus chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. Who can imagine the terror that gripped the families of Israel in Exodus chapter 14? The joy of their emancipation was overwhelmed by sudden crisis. Before them was the Red Sea. Behind them was the flash of Pharaoh's swords. With no way out, they seemed to be facing annihilation. Yet the Lord said, Don't be afraid. See what I will do. Stand still and watch while I fight for you. As Moses raised his rod over the water, the winds of heaven blew and the sea parted before them. God can make a way where there seems to be no way. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The Apostle Paul promised that God will not allow us to be tempted beyond our ability, but will make a way of escape. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. If you're facing a challenging problem, don't be afraid. Stand still and see what God will do. He will make a way. The Lord will make a way for you where no foot has been before. That which, like a sea, threatens to drown you shall be a highway for your escape. Charles H. Spurgeon Good evening, inspiration. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. John chapter 14, verses 16 and 17. The demands and expectations of modern life put great pressure on people. Sadly, this often causes them to reject the Christian faith in despair and they wander around in the wilderness of uncertainty and torment. Jesus understands human fallibility and fragility very well. That is why he gave his disciples the gift of the Holy Spirit, to help them to cope with the demands of life. They needed his power and strength to encourage them when they faced such violent opposition to their preaching of the gospel. The gift of the Spirit is yours too. Because God said, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Joel chapter 2 verse 28. Jesus confirms this in the words of today's scripture verse. To enable you to cope with modern life in all its many facets and to live according to the Lord's requirements and standards, it is essential to open our life to Jesus, then allow his Holy Spirit to lead and guide you according to the will of God then you will be able to handle any situation, no matter how difficult.